John Duggan. How you doing? Okay, how are you? Yeah, how are you? Days of the Dead. How, how did you enjoy the convention? Oh, I had a great time. Yeah. Great time. I, I always have a great time. Yeah. I love seeing the fans. I love seeing my my friends that I've met over the years on the road. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Now, we were talking earlier about which uh, film had the most uh, sequels, which franchise. Yeah, that's really up in the air, isn't it? Yeah. So hopefully, someone listening to this will let us know. But Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it, it, it doesn't have the most. Well, it, it, the strange thing is I've only seen <laughs> the one, the first one that I'm in, and I've seen the second one, mm -hmm. where, with Bill Mosley as Chop Top, yeah. and, and, and the late, though. great Lou Perry mm -hmm. as a... Uh, Whatever is the, the disc jockey guy. Yeah, chop. Oh no, the no, disc jockey. No, you know mean? RJ or yeah. something like that. He just keeps getting killed, but he never dies. Uh, yeah. He um, gets skin, he gets yeah, yeah I, I saw that in the movie theater Yeah. in Chicago. Watched the whole thing. But the other ones, I was in the fourth one, I've never seen it. <laughs> right. I've seen pieces of it. Yeah. But I have really never sat down and watched mm -hmm. The thing is, people assume. Because you're in this business, that you're a huge fan of horror films. Yeah. I'm an actor, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I just happen to fall into the, you know, horror genre. Yeah. And, uh, but I don't really know that much. About horror. You know, you get beyond the uh, Lon Chaney Jr. and Vincent Price thing. Yeah. I'm an old guy, you know. I, I don't know a whole lot. Of that. Mm -hmm. When you were asked to play the, the grandfather, did you think you? Know, you know, 20 years later, 30 years later, so oh, absolutely, absolutely not. <laughs> no, really, and I've said this many times before, but if we had known mm -hmm. then that it was going to be this big, we'd all had agents of lawyers and shit like that, you know. Yeah. But we didn't. You know, I, I was a young actor, and I was getting paid to do a movie for the summer. I mean, mm -hmm. it, would, it was like the dream job, yeah. you know. So, okay. and I went from, and I was doing a children's play at the Goodman Theater in Chicago called The Terror of Tales. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing like multi, you know, like tights, green, yellow, yellow, green, you know, right. dancing around going, <laughs> and then two weeks later, I'm hitting a chick over the head with a sledgehammer. Yeah. So it was, and I was 20 years old, it was pretty yeah. much the ideal summer, you know. How hot was the makeup? Oh, very. It was it, fucking miserable. <laughs> uh, I really, I think that's kind of when I became a Buddhist, was uh, I, you know, I had to, I got, I had to get into a hole. Zen kind of. I'm not really a Buddhist, but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, there was a whole. Uh, well, this. Sorry. Right here. Beautiful photograph. I was in my happy place, mm -hmm. <laughs> and somebody took that picture. You know, I just had to go away. I was the stuff that appeared. That's not a mask. It's just makeup. So it was really. It was glued down to my face, and after and. Uh, that particular day, we shot for 28 hours, and it took them four hours to put my makeup on. So, and it was Texas in July. It was, yeah. it was terrible. Uh, so I just would literally have to go somewhere mm -hmm. in my head. I bet you heard in the dinner scene like that he actually cut the girl with the. Uh, yeah, you know, and I didn't know about that for years. Until yeah. Years later, Gunnar told me, I was like, you should be. I was actually sucking blood out of her. <laughs> what? With all that heat and stuff, and I know a lot of the other people say like it just got crazy there. Like, uh, what was the experience like? Gosh, it was awful at the time. I think everybody just wanted to get it done. Yeah. But it, it put a certain edge to that that particular scene, that dinner party scene. That. I don't know, it made it magic. It made it screen magic. The, yeah. The fact that everybody just wanted to get them. <laughs> yeah. You know, somebody, I don't know if it was Gunn or, or maybe Ed, said, yeah, at some point it was like, okay, let's just fucking kill her and get it over. <laughs> you know, let's just, okay, let's just kill her. I want to go home. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny now. It probably wasn't funny now. Uh, yeah. No, but it was, it was tough. Mm -hmm. But we were young and we could we could handle it and damn we were making a movie. Yeah. You know, to me that it was exciting. It was very exciting. Yeah. So over the weekend, uh, do you have any uh, any memorable fans that I asked any questions or uh, had anything different for you to sign? No, this particular show, nothing strange. <laughs> Just yeah. no, believe it or not, yeah. I wish I could answer that. Yeah. No, it's been, it's been something very, up. Uh, <laughs> no. 
you know, I, I do have people occasionally have me sign strange things, but I've had nothing. I've met a lot of, I've made a lot of new friends, and I've seen a lot of old friends, and, and that's kind of what these things are about to me. Yeah. You make some new contacts, you make some new friends, you see people you haven't seen in several years, you know, that you know from the road, mm -hmm. have a few drinks, show a few laughs. It's always a good time. Yeah, definitely. Well, it's thank not you. a bad way to make a living. Yeah. So, if you can call it a living. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you for doing this. Okay, well, thank you for talking.